Today, I want to show you how both of these great effects work together. These are the two effects powerhouses by Erika Sins that I was reviewing lately and I was raving about them because for me it's super powerful and uh, easy to use and it doesn't take a lot of place which is really important when you're trying to uh, fix your performance case and that is exactly the point at which I am currently. I'm trying to assemble a 12U case. I wanted to take my beloved ZDSP by TipTop Audio with me on the road, but it was just too big. And these two babies give me so much power. I'm talking about the dual drive and I'm talking about dual effects. I have reviewed both of these modules, so please check out my uh, channel. But today, I just wanted to play with them and show you what these are capable of. Mm, so let me just explain you shortly how I have fixed that patch uh, and what's going on in here. First of all, I have the uh, percussion stuff. It's on the uh, hex inverter hot glue. I have the mutant drums, like so. Snare, rim shot, and a kick. Okay. And then I have Basimil's Iteritus Alter, which is heavily modulated by, uh, by Plax, which is micro version of mutable instruments, frames, and I'm loving this. Uh, modulation source. It could really, really mangle your modules within seconds. So that's the percussion stuff you're hearing. And on the hot glue, I have the send and return set to one of the channels of the dual effects, which is channel number two. If I crank up the send, gonna hear it this is a very short delay right now as you can hear it is fully wet as it is set up as a sand so whenever you're sending something out to effect it should be fully wet because you are deciding how much of the uh, dry signal you want to send to this unit with the sand knob on the hot glue. So this is fully wet. This, on the other hand, is my uh, shapeshifter, which is sequenced with Eloquencer. And I'm going directly into this so that's why the dry wet is around in the middle. Okay, so I'm just choosing some nice reverb here. The drums are going through the first channel of dual drive, so I can really crank it like so with the drive. And the drive is modulated by the quad LFO by Modcon. Okay, and the second channel is responsible for driving the bass. So if you listen to the bass by itself, it's really more aggressive with the uh, third mode right here. And I am also modulating this with quad LFO. It sounds like this. It's just more interesting because the drive is opening up and closing down. So it sounds really cool. And now, if I combine all of this stuff, you can hear it starts to sound really nice together. 
And as you can hear, the whole patch is served by those two effects. So that's about it for today. Definitely check out those babies. Really useful, small and super, super powerful modules. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And uh, I'll see you next time.